green croc louboutins i wanted to bring my green jimmy choo purse but because i want to carry my um camera my camera lights and everything i'm just going to pair it with my christian louboutin tote grab this gift for shay um i gotta stop and get gas i'm going to a place called stk it's right at 50 minutes away from the house let's go Y'all, I love all my earrings, but it's going to be okay. So, I'm excited to go to this event. Um, I can't remember which of the ladies suggested it. I think it was D. I'm not sure. But, um, if I'm incorrect, then I apologize, y'all. But, they suggested that we go to this place. And so, do I have her gift? Yes. Um, and it's like a... I guess it's just like a business gathering happy hour type event um it was about forty dollars to attend that comes with two drinks and the hors d'oeuvres that they serve throughout the evening it's from seven to nine it's like seven ish right now but i had some stuff with my baby that i just needed to make sure she was in a good place you know today was kind of like uh a uh, harder day for her not sure why but you know I just wanted to get her in better spirits so to speak so you know anxiety is real y'all and a lot of times we ignore stuff or ignore those type of signs but you should not it's good to know it's good to know how to um, have healthy exercises that help you work through it baby I gotta get some gas or my anxiety gonna be on 10 because I know for me like I'm a very shy person I have anxiety today about going to this event I typically can go to anything by myself right I can I can go to stuff by myself sometimes if I know it's gonna be like a lot, a lot of point five miles turn slight right to left interstate 20 she's so disrespectful if i know it's gonna be a lot of people there i'll start to get that build up and stuff and like i'm i'm just being completely honest so it's not like my child stole it stole it she honestly got it from her mama um but as an adult i think i just handle it a little better with her i don't think she has tapped into what her rhythm is going to be to help her with it um so I hate paying for gas with cash. I really, really do. But it is what it is.
going to stay, but I got to get home to my babies. Y'all know how I go. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I could probably stay, but it's hot. Uh-huh. Girl, it's too hot for me. I feel something run down my spine. I said, oh, no. If it ain't no man fingers, baby, I don't need it. <laughs> that bit, it was a sweat. That was time for me to go. Woo. It is freaking hot. Yes. Do I give this to you? Baby, I always bring my little flats. Girl, and I started to, but I don't have a big enough purse. <laughs> when I say hot, it's hot. Like I said, it's so pretty. We've been under all these lights and stuff, so that's probably about five. And you said five, right? Thank you, girl. All right, the hold on. Girl, girl, girl. Yeah, Camera and the action. Girl, here you go. All right, so I'll see Thank you. Baby, I said, no, I ain't never sweat like this. Girl. I felt something run down my spine. I said, oh no. I was wondering what they're going to have today. And I didn't know if my hair was going to start sweating. I don't know. Girl, I'm going to have to get the hair straight. Girl, I'm going to have to get the hair straight. Girl, I'm going to have to get the hair straight. Girl, I'm going to have to get the hair straight. Girl, I'm going to have to get the hair straight. Girl, I'm going to have to get the hair straight. Girl, I'm going to have to get the hair straight. Girl, I'm going to have to get the hair straight. Girl, I'm going to have to get the hair straight. Girl, I'm going to have to get the hair straight. Girl, I'm going to have to get the hair straight. Girl, I'm going to have to get the hair straight. Girl, I'm going to have to get the hair straight. Girl, I'm going to have to yeah, see. Spray water here, let's go. I probably wouldn't even care right now because it's so hot. Look, I, it I took my time pressing out this half today for it to try to curl up. I feel the curling Girl. in the back. And you know when it start getting wet, if you touch it, it freezes uh -huh. more. So I'm mean, trying not to. I try, it was sticking. I said, oh no, that's it. <laughs> I said, I want to stay and talk to y'all, but that's it. Girl, I, I need to be cool. at home. Who you did? <laughs> I need to be freaking cool. <laughs> something in your teeth so I thoroughly enjoyed myself I got to finally meet Shady Shay her birthday is September 11th I'm the 14th it is just what it is on period <laughs> Simone is always gorgeous D is always giving body and gorgeous and face so I enjoyed all the ladies I finally met platinum D in person let me tell y'all just as beautiful just as beautiful in person as she is on her Instagram, on her YouTube, the whole thing. Just literally, you meet her and it's, it's like, boom, you just click. Same thing with D, same thing with um, Shay, same thing with, same thing with Simone. Like, you just click. It feels good to meet people that you just feel like you've known all your life and you can just talk to them and have fun with them. I really wanted to stay, but I, as a mom first, got two of my babies at home, so I have to get home to them, um, and I stayed longer than I originally was going to stay, um, because Robin wound up getting a, a ride home, so that worked out as well, but it was time for me to go, and, and, Simone, you think I don't know, I think you got my, my fan, but that's okay, I'm gonna let you all on to it, till we see each other the next time, boom. But baby, yes, I bring a little fan with me because I don't know what's going on. When I get in these circles or these events, you know, it, it be this Texas heat and then the the atmospheres, right? I, I just I don't know if it's the close vicinity of everybody, baby, but I be getting moist, like mm, Jesus. My hair is I know sweated out. So if I look a mess, y'all, I'm sorry. Is it you know you know it's hot when you start to smell your press. Sweating out my press, sweating out my blowout. Mm -hmm. That's that's the vibe I was on. So anyway, I am passing through Arlington, Texas now. So I will soon be home. It was about a 49 minute drive. Y'all, this is why you have to get out and go to things because whether you're a shy person, an introvert, a homebody, um, whether you're an outgoing person, whatever it is, get out and meet people. I miss networking with people. I miss just getting out and seeing black women doing their things, black men doing their things. Although it was an all-female event, um, when I see either or, either sex doing their thing, I'm usually hella supportive like I, I'm gonna always be the one to support you I met a realtor today baby she about to sell my house what, what I tell you because I've already been sitting here thinking about like selling my house so 
she gonna sell my house for me and and she's in Mansfield ISD and then she went ahead and went into real estate full-time she was a, a principal she said and then she went into real estate full-time so with that being said y'all yeah I'm not gonna talk too much because y'all know I can get to talking I'm gonna let y'all go because um, I'm about to pull up Woo! yeah come on come on come on one mile exit hey. to the right. Two, exit 445. Little road. And then, baby, baby, baby. All right, y'all. So, super comfy. I get multiple hours in these red bottoms. These are the, I think you'll pronounce it Ariza or Ariza. I R. Iza, I think it's how it's spelled. So I love these. I have these in white as well. I think I have some in black patent leather, but with the higher heel. I mixed it. So first, it was the apple, apple brandy by Killian on the rocks. Right. I started out with this one, and then on the top, I used the Fame by Paco Rabanne. Oh, this smells so good, and this. Combo I have on smelt like everything. Like I really had a lot of fun. I love this group of ladies. Oh, now go butterscotch. <laughs> no, babe, I'm home. He said, you still there? Mm -mm. And if y'all think it's, I'm clowning, look what he saved under. Butterscotch. Because he looked like, he looked like, he not as orange as Ernie, right? But him definitely give butterscotch candy vibes. His skin tone. So I call him butterscotch. Not for nothing else, y'all nasties. It's y'all. Anyways, let me get out of these clothes. Getting something comfy. And then after I pick her up, I'm going to take me a shower for tonight. I kind of really want to show y'all my bath stuff because I really just been loving. It's my heritage. I've been loving adding their um, body wash and their body scrub. Now, I like Taraji's body scrub, too. Her body wash takes quite a bit to get a lather out of it. Um, but I'm going to give it another try. Huh? And um, the other people just do like gay experiments. So everybody... Good That's good. Look at you making no, friends. I'm, I'm so proud of you making friends. Um, wh what? Making friends. Yeah, no, no. They, they are my friends. I mean, I talk to them, but they are my friends, but they are great connections. So We're making networking. 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 Mommy was networking last night, too. Yay! That's great, Mother. See, your 10K is arriving faster than you think. So you went to the wrong class, how? Uh, so after my 8 a.m. class, me and my friend were talking about um, how cool our music business class was. And she got distracted, and since our schedules are the same, we looked at our next class, which was for 10 a.m., but we went to it at 9 a.m., so we were in Music Theory 3 instead of Music Theory 1, and we were sitting through the entire syllabus, and we were completely lost. Did they tell y'all y'all were in the wrong class? Well, at first, I just thought I was tripping, but no. And then, once he was done with the syllabus, we just raised our hands and we were like, yeah, we're in the wrong class, so sorry. I was supposed to be in math, so I did the first 20 minutes of my math class, um, got there late, and they were already doing assignments. I was like, come on. That's like, Okay, y'all, so we are about to get this head together because, honey, it's sweated out from last night. As y'all see, I'm in a lazy mode, so I just threw a bunch of stuff in the slow cooker, which are neck bones. I got two sausage links that I'm going to cut up um, and do I've thrown in my onion. I'm going to go get some green onion. Um, I have in my garlic, my seasonings, my stuff. So as that gets to going, the house going to be smelling real good. I just talked to my baby. She's in college. Um, Y'all, I had such a great, 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 great. I'm going to keep saying that because 
I want to encourage y'all. I want to challenge you to get out and go and network. I love networking. I've always been big on networking. I miss networking. And just that in itself was fun for me. But y'all, everybody that was at the event, y'all, please go and follow them from Miss Queen um, D to Shady Shay to, to Beauty by Simone TV. Um, great ladies, great, great ladies. If you take the, the opportunity to go and check out their channels, please just go follow. If you don't know, yeah, if you don't know who Platinum D is, she is a um, fairly large YouTuber or social influencer that is here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Please go follow her as well. Um, and just, you know, enjoy everybody that was there. I met a realtor, baby. She going to sell this house for me. I've already, I've been manifesting y'all. I'm always manifesting. I'm always setting goals. I'm always doing all those things. I'm always praying. I'm always praying and fasting. I'm always asking God for clarity. I'm always speaking into existence what I want and writing the vision and making it plain. Whatever it is, I got to tell you, I'm doing it. And let me tell y'all something about God. He always shows up and shows out. Things that I said specifically, that's why God says be specific when you pray. My specific prayers, I have been seeing all around me specific numbers, specific people, specific things. That's nobody but God. And if you don't believe in it, that's you. Or like my mama used to say, that's you. That's you, baby. That's you, baby. Um, but... I do. I believe in the power of God, and I believe that God gives us um, our being to do everything. And that is why it's so stop, Harper, and all you. That's why it's so important that you have a relationship with him. Um, on another note, I hate to even tie this in. I'm, I might wait and say that conversation for when I'm doing my hair. But I definitely want to talk about it. I want to talk to y'all about um, entitlement and jealousy. I don't want to get too heavy into it, but sometimes when you talk about those two things, you wind up getting a little heavy on you, okay? Just a little bit, not too, too much. Hey, Bodegas, guess what today is? It is the first day of Virgo season, and I've been trying to dye my hair for three days. Normally, I don't go dark, but I'm about to go dark as brown, just because my hair be turning all these little sandy colors, um, and right now, my hair is super dirty. It's full of like mousse, gel, hairspray. So I left it that way so I can give me a really, really, really good color application. So I haven't renovated or updated, should I say, the salon area just yet. It's still like the basic salon, voila. But um, yeah, y'all know my birthday is September 14th and I'm a Virgo. So if you are a Virgo, hit subscribe. If you fuck with Virgos, hit subscribe. If you uh, love Virgos, run the likes up, share, 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 and share. Um, anyways, let's get into me doing my hair. Normally, I wouldn't use this hair color, but I have this hair color because I had did it on somebody. I don't know if it was on the kids or what, but I only have one bottle, and I know damn well I'm probably gonna need two. So we gonna make it, we gonna make it do what it do, baby. But that's what I'm about to use the uh, darkest brown B eighteen D in the Clairol beautiful collection. Now what I need to do is I need to run the salads and just pick up another one real quick, just cause because because I do. But girl ain't going nowhere. We gonna make it work, okay? And I did pick up some more combs because. I have children that go in all my stuff. Tony literally went to college with half of my um, professional line of stuff. So it's crazy. But I went and I got some more rat tail combs. I picked up another box of gloves. So here we go. All right, y'all. So I am processing. I just finished applying all the colors. So sorry for all the shakiness. Um, I've taken off my gloves, put the applicator bottle in here. Wear your gloves. I do plan to do my nails today, but the only little bit of color I have on me is from where I just touched the glove. Wear your gloves. Dispose of your materials properly. And I'm going to sit here and process, and then I'll get back to y'all. I'll show y'all how I did that. Okay, let me get on this eye. I mean, let me... Um, first, let me get this lash off so I can show y'all. Hi, Brittany. Yeah, Alright, we're going to shampoo, okay, so rinse, dry. 
Okay. All right, y'all. So now it's time to go and do makeup. So, of course, my hair, I feel like I can still see, like, low lights in it just a little bit. I'm about to go drop Robin to work. Wait on Sydney to get home, but I will be doing my makeup because I am going to film a video that I've been really wanting to film. And so I'm hoping that um, it reaches the people it needs to reach, honey. Okay? Bye, y'all. 6.37. Why am I shutting down at 6.37 in a day? You tell me. But I wanted to finish my hair and all that and then do my makeup, go film. Um, I think I would prefer to film it in the morning where my energy is just up, you know. And tonight, just enjoy watching my TV. I was just because last night I was up to like 3, 4 o'clock a.m. And I got my nails here. Yeah, I ain't even put them on. If you know, if you know, the ultimate college snack. Mm. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do, y'all. And I apologize because I'm just... Yeah, the 40s is 40 Because my 20s, 30s, baby, I could travel and it wouldn't bother me. All that I did last week... I'm still shaking back. Tony has, <clears throat> I think, her wisdom teeth are bothering her. So, I'm going to have to figure out a way to go get her and get her wisdom teeth pulled and bring her back to school. When I told her to get it done, she didn't want to. Now, here we are. All right, y'all. So, I am kind of like just leaving the house. I be having so much... You know, ripping and running everybody in the house. So, I'm leaving the house. I am pulling up to King Crab House in Mansfield. This is my favorite place to come and get seafood. I have tasted quite a few. Theirs is pretty much really close to what I'm used to in Lake Charles, Louisiana. If you can, get out here to Mansfield and come try, baby. I have been coming here oh, since they opened. Maybe like two years or so. It might They might even been open longer than that. I don't know. Probably like three years, four years that I've been coming here. Um, so I'm coming here and get my normal little thing that I get. Hopefully it's still in season right now because I haven't been here in such... Ooh, I, I don't think I've been here this year. And I just have a craving for it. So I'm coming here to get it. Then I'm going to go look for some shirts and some stuff like that. And then try to make it back to the house because Robin has work for five. So y'all come over here to King crab house it is in mansfield Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, baby, don't play with it. Hey, yo, Rick, just stop it. Just stay in it. Spin on day in it. My head is don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. They stay with it. I'm okay with it. Yeah. It's really coming to me, they don't play with it. They don't play with it. Lord have mercy, Father. Help us all, baby. When I say, I miss, girl, I got the crawfish, the shrimp juice in my thing. Look, y'all, I couldn't film everything. I don't be putting that little bib on and I normally don't use gloves um, to eat my seafood but I do when I have on nails okay because I just don't be wanting all that under my nails but baby the way I just fucked that up because that's what it was I fucked that up I fuck that's like that food was like you know the first time you you give it to him the first time and you try to blow his mind this was like all them times combined so <laughs> the way I ate my food baby it's sitting up in me i definitely have a food baby i'm definitely on full full but the good thing about seafood is it's not a lot of calories one cluster of crab is only like 100 calories now when you add the seasonings that's what do it and i did get the house seasonings and i did get it wet <laughs> and i did get the extra butter i don't give a damn what y'all got to say i hadn't been here in a while 
I did get my hurricane, which is what I normally do, but I usually get a hurricane, an old-fashioned, and a water. I only did the hurricane today because I knew I had to go and pick up my baby. So we're on the way to go pick up my baby. I am not going to put my camera up here. I am not because it's so hot. It's 108. It's just going to tumble over. After I take her, I'm going to see if Sydney wants to ride with me to run errands because it's Friday. It's Friday, and I'm ready to up my girls and hit the point baby let me tell you how hot it is out here it's so goddamn hot baby was in the car going to work today he was like man fuck this i'm about to quit <laughs> and my my ass i'm trying to be positive as fuck i'm like baby just you know maybe he's like no fuck this shit i was like y'all didn't know what to tell him so y'all pray for my man because i don't know I don't know if he about to be unemployed or not. I don't know what the motherfucker about to call me and say, but baby, I got you, okay? Not like hold you down, but I got you. <laughs> bitch, I, I got too many people to hold on. I got Tony Robinson and myself and my pets. Like, bitch, oh, Lord. So, I don't know what's going on with baby, but I think he was just heat delirious. I think that's what it was. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Let me go get my baby because it's hot. Y'all see how girl it's hot. Why it look like I got a big ass knot right there? And I don't. Girl, I got crab juice in my I bet you that's crab juice. I bet you it didn't go all to my stomach because I don't feel full. I bet you it's thorn in my face like a motherfucking hamster. Bitch. Alright, see it has me in here. I came in here to look for what I came in for again? Sure. Oh, we're going to Sephora. And I wanted to look at some of their shirts. She has me in here at a place called Potato Corner. The I've never ever heard good. of this. She wants french fries from they're here. Really, they're really good. It's called Potato Corner. I was going to get an icy, but the ICs are uh, not ready. So, alrighty, y'all. If you're cool, then I'm cool. If you're cool. Alrighty, y'all. This was an epic fail. I went in to pick up the one size um, setting spray. Even before the Beyonce uh, makeup artist revealed that he used it on Beyonce, this was they sold out because it's a really good setting spray. Only thing is, I don't really use setting spray like that. However, being in situations where I'm gonna be out and it's so humid here in Texas, even though my makeup holds up pretty good, I just wanted to really like, sh 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 you know, get the shit on lock. So it is 7:36. I don't feel like going to look for no shirts at all at this point. Um, excuse me, especially when I can go and probably look for them online and probably find online deals. Um, so we are going to go to. Walmart. Oh, that sun real bright. Don't fuck with my retinas in my eyes, jeez. Um, we're gonna go to Walmart and get what are we going. Oh, I said, look, they selling puppies. I don't know what kind of puppies they selling. They got them in the back of their truck. Selling puppies. Um, what am I trying to say? Oh, what were you supposed to be going to go get from Walmart again? Boo boo wipes. Boo boo wipes. We're going to get boo boo wipes and some corn. Those two things don't go together. No. Is it closed for that? Okay, that's different. I think they closed. Maybe they only open at a certain time in the day. Okay. All right. Guess they say we're not about to serve y'all no coffee in the evenings. Well, I mean, it is 8 o'clock at night. It would make sense. So, Neil and the coffee. We can okay. go to McDonald's and get a coffee. Oh, I, really, I didn't want a coffee. I was just trying to find something that we could do together. Let's go get a coffee from the Since you said no to the movies. We can go to the movies, but... No, I feel like now it's out of pity. Like, oh, woe is me. Let me take my, my ugly-ass mama to the movies. If you were ugly, then I'd be hideous. Well, then obviously you hideous, because that's what you said. Mother. You was like, get your ugly ass. And then you didn't say ugly. You was like, get your ugly ass. 
You said uh, it. You said it with an emphasis on ugly, ugly ass. I would totally say that. Mm hmm You said it. You said it. That's why your knee gonna buckle for the day. Mm hmm. And you're gonna catch a cramp in your foot, and I'ma laugh. Stop being trifling. <laughs> now you said I'm a trifling ugly ass. Mm hmm. Cussing they mamas in French and shit. Good morning, beautiful. Oh, oh. happy Sunday, y'all. God, I miss playing for a church. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. How Yes, Lord. Ooh, Lord. Baby, one thing about the Holy Spirit, honey. He don't care where you are, where you at. Good day, bad day, baby. When he hit, he is going to hit. Good morning. Happy Sunday. The way I got y'all propped up, baby. If y'all fall down. It's going to take the Holy Spirit to get y'all back up, okay? Because <laughs> the way I done dropped my Sony camera, it has been, oh, honey. I only dropped it twice. And one time the uh, lens popped out. So now whenever I zoom, you hear it go in and out. But other than that, baby, she's still going. Hell, my DSLR that I would vlog with would do pretty good. So I have three eggs from yesterday, right? Because it's so hot. Um, I can store them out on the counter. I've told y'all this, but because it's so hot, I just go ahead and let them sit in here so they're not like cooking and I put them in the box. So I'm just dry cleaning them and I'm going to put them in the container. I date them and I know which chicken laid what. I have figured it out. Mr. Roos is out there crowing this morning, baby. I ain't, I ain't for it, but I'm going to let him do what he got to do. The other rooster, he need a name. I think we need to name him Phantom or something. Because that motherfucker, he came. We didn't even know. We didn't know. We didn't know. Yeah, I'm a work in progress. I just said an adjective. But you will be okay. Okay? All I got to do is confess with my mouth to God and repent to him. And try to get better each day with my mistakes. And my two mistakes in life, I have always said. Which is why I'm only 98% pre uh, pregnant. Lord. Now, Jesus, you know he took this womb. You knew, you know, I had a partial hysterectomy. What is we talking about pregnant? Honey, the only only time you'll see me with a little baby is if I go and take, because these eggs are still going, honey. Cheers to that. <laughs> if I take these eggs and go let the surrogate have my baby, which I have, I have, I have some contenders, and they have agreed, okay? But this is the problem. I'm about to be 41, September 14th, okay? <laughs> um, and the way that I realized last year, running around with my teenage kids, that I would come home tired, baby. That, that baby, although she would, because I would definitely want another girl, although she would be taken very good care of and be adorable, honey, um, she'd probably wind up... You know, not not being a wholesome child like my other three. Because when I be tired, unless she verbally listens to me, baby, she gonna be she probably be out there in them streets. I probably ain't gonna be able to keep up to keep her on the, the straight and narrow. And 
she'd be spoiled and getting everything and then when she'd get old it'd just be shit or you know i wouldn't want to just i plan to live to be over 100 okay so it's not that i wouldn't be around but i want to know what the fuck is going on you know i want to know that if you tell me you're going to the football game you're at the football game i don't want to be old like oh shit i can't get there girl i'm 60 i just can't my high flashes my this i don't want to be that mama so i said all that to say ain't no pregnancy over here okay <laughs> I done told y'all stop listening to me. So I'm about to batch film. Y'all know I like to walk around two ways, lingerie or nude. Okay. We'll cover up the nude birthday suit-ish attire. Birthday suit-ish attire. That is going to be a word for today. Okay, boys. These eggs came from yesterday. Girl, my eyes too bad. I'm trying to focus. Focus, bitch. Focus. Today is August 27th. So yesterday was 26th. Okay. So I date my eggs. What did I just say? I said today is the 27th, so yesterday was the... Did I say yesterday was the 27th or did I say yesterday was the 26th? I was trying to say it was the 26th, but I could have said anything. Um, Y'all know I like to help. So this morning I'm going to batch film. I just figured I'd start my day. I don't know. I don't even know why I picked up the camera this morning, but y'all here with me. Girl, these eggs is from the 26th. Not the 27th. Shit. Do I have the shit? Do I have the ADHD? <laughs> There's something wrong with me, goddammit. it. Not that I know of. It ain't nothing. Look, mental illness is real. It does run in my family. On uh, my stepdad's side. Oh shit, the way my mom be acting sometimes, I wonder if it run on our side too. But the point, the point of that I'm trying to say is, um, ain't nothing wrong if you do. I love you either way. I was that friend and I was that sister. There was somebody with my sister. Which I was going to bat the fuck out of you. Don't play with me. I'm not a fighter. I don't go around proclaiming that I'm going to fight and do none of that. But baby, I will bat your ass. That's not the same as fighting. Bat. That's something we use in Lake Charles, Louisiana. When you get in South Louisiana, from New Orleans to New Iberia to Lafayette to anything, do not mess with those Creole, Creole women. Because I'm trying to tell you, baby, when you come on your ass over there with the shit chat, we're going to get you. Don't don't play with us because we're going to bat the fuck. I have to use the adjective. I have to use it, y'all. Okay? We're going to bat the fuck. Not bat the fuck. Bat the fuck out of you. Okay? It's, it's like a nap. Batting the fuck out of somebody is a natural reflex. It it happens in the swift of the night. It happens in the moment of truth. It happens coincidentally. Okay? It happens. We don't even know it comes out. It's just, bitch, see, now look what you made me do. It's like a Ike Turner moment. And it's, this is not okay. This is not okay. But I really think... Then when them bloodlines started getting mixed old, mixed in with the French and the white and the black and the British and all that Indian and all of that shit that makes up a Creole woman. Because Creole men don't bat the fuck out of you, okay? Creole men don't even want to deal with that shit. Half the time they cuss your ass out in Creole, baby, and they gone. Or they just be like, fuck it, let you have it, okay? It's the Creole women. It's something that happened in the DNA of a Creole woman <laughs> where we got the bat the fuck gene and it's not okay this is why I tell people if you dating one of us blink bitch pack your white bag on your stick and hit the dusty motherfucking trail we might be a little crazy we might, we might, and me, y'all cannot agree to it, but I'm trying to tell you, it's in us. I ain't did it to many, but the ones that I did it to is, okay. So anyway, let me get on track for this morning. God damn it. Cheers. Oh, bitch, she took that to the head. Chug, 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 chug. Okay. 
Um, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, obviously I'm, I'm obviously I'm there this morning, okay? Off of some goddamn peach juice. Um batch filming. This morning I'm gonna batch film. I've thrown all my designer shoes in um a luxury bag. I'm going to take it upstairs to the film room. This is the behind the scenes part of shit, okay? And I have two different videos I'm doing that are invertedly about shoes that will help serve. Now, when I get ready to film this thing about the Beyonce Renaissance tour, because she done laid out the guidelines, I'm just here to adhere to the fucking rules and get y'all together. When I put that video out, honey, I'm gonna film that one downstairs because that's too much shit to be bringing up there. All them crystals and sparkly shit and that shit gets to... And the thing is, I'm not even gonna do the outfit I'm going to talk about the accessories because if you don't want to be chromed out in your outfit, you don't have to. And I like to be different. Silver and gold looks good on everybody, but I like to be different. I am the bitch that's going to wear like the, the metallic blue or the metallic red, or I'm going to wear like a metallic black and I'm going to, my accessories are going to accessorize. Don't come over here talking about me because I am that friend that will show up in heels. Baby, I take every opportunity to wear a high heel shoe as long as I can because I have been told that as I get older, you know, women, we get gout and all this other stuff. I don't know. I rebuke those things out of my life. But what I'm going to say is I do know the transition from wearing heels to flats. Flats usually are what bother me, get my ankles all clicking and clacking and shit, right? My heels don't ever bother me, baby, and I am a heel girl. So, in that video, I'm going to drop some gems. I'm going to tell y'all what type of heels and, and how to age your feet. Get you some Dr. Show's flats. They're real small. Somebody got me for mine. Mine was in a cute little gold metallic pouch. It used to slip right into my bag. Because I think at her concerts, you got to have clear bags to come in. I'm not sure. If that's the case, then you can't bring your purses. But I'm going to show y'all the purses anyway. Because I'm just, that's just me. Um, however, <sighs> added protection. Get you some shoe gummies for the bottom of your shoe. Get you some Dr. Show's insoles for the inside. If you know your pinky toe fat because she a little on the thick side, get this shit for the bunions. Put it on there. I ain't saying you got to have a bunion. What I said was if she thick, sometimes you got to take extra precautions, okay? And you got to cover her up. Put that on the inside of that shoe. Um, put the heel cushion in the ball if you girl get all the cushions because you're gonna be standing and walking and you want to look cute and comfortable and those things will help you be cute and comfortable to where you can wear heels because i guarantee you i guarantee you if you're gonna wear a flat they need to be bedazzled and then after that concert where, where's you wearing the bedazzled flat just i just want to know on a day to day that's all that's all i'm saying so let me get back to the business that pays me. I'm going to mind my business and do this. But I am going to serve y'all this morning because I love to help. I love to I love to help. I love to serve. And bitch, that, little, that little black and didn't let me no egg yesterday. She ain't let me no egg yesterday. I need my egg, honey. If you can't produce an egg, it's okay. Lights out. Thank you, Nuka. Let me, you know what, this is why I said I wasn't picking. Let me get off the camera. Let me get off the camera because, yeah. Let me just, let me just, yeah. Let me go get myself, uh, I've already washed my face and brushed my teeth. Currently, currently I'm in my robe. I did not have shorts on up on that, honey, because if he would have came out the room, he would have got that bottom of that curve. But, um, <laughs> But because I was filming, I had to go throw on a bra and some tights underneath my robe, honey. So that's what we got on. Okay, so I'm going to go and get zawed up and get ready to film what I need to film in batch for today. And I don't know. If we go somewhere today, I may come back and vlog. I don't know. But happy Sunday, y'all. Hope y'all blessed. I hope y'all got y'all church service this morning because I know that I did. And um, let that propel you. And don't just go to church on Sundays, bitch. Go to a prayer meeting. 
Go to a Sunday school. Go to a BTU. It's some churches that still have that. Go to a Wednesday night service. Girl, find some kind of way to give back other than just your tithes and offering because I could really go into tithes and offering. Yes, God told us to tithe and offering, but the church, the church is tithe and offering. Sometimes it's a little different with these mega churches nowadays. So I'm not going to get into that because as a pastor's kid, I'm just, I'm just not, um, I'm going to trust that everybody's doing for the good of the Lord. Okay. Amen. Um, but what I will say is find a way that you can be in church, you know, whether that's you play the drums, you beat the tambourine in the choir, because we all need a sister that be up there. I'm glad to be in the service. Glad to be in the service. <laughs> we all need that one, okay? So, <laughs> all I'm saying is, if you want to be an usher, be an usher. Just please put your pantyhose on and don't come out there with your girl. Don't come out there with the thing thing. And, you know, that's not what an usher is. Y'all, that's not what an usher the ushers ain't supposed to be thang thangin', okay? We know you fine, sis. We see you all during the week. But on Sundays, please, child, just put the girdle on underneath. I do have a girdle video, by the way, if you need to see it. It's right here, okay? Put the girdle on under the week. Um, other than that, just find your place. Be a Sunday school teacher. Do y'all know that I wanted to be a Sunday school teacher? I really did. I would sit in Sunday school class and my daddy would be teaching the Sunday school teachers. And, baby, I was like, I'm going to be a bomb ass Sunday school teacher, right? Um, <laughs> with my adult life. Oh, Lord, when I got grown and I wasn't up to the house no more, and I was like, man, I ain't got to get up to go to 7 o'clock Sunday school. I was like, Tony, in the last video, baby, I'm 18 now. I don't have to do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, y'all. That's my epiphany for this morning. That's all I'm going to say. Like how Ricky Smiley had his thing about the church hats. Baby, I could talk to y'all about some church stuff now, okay? But I be trying not to go there. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm saying all that to say, y'all. I'm saying all of that to say. Y'all know when I say I'm saying all that to say, that means I'm going to get serious. That means that everything I said up until that point, I was clowning. So, <laughs> I'm saying all of that to say. <clears throat> be involved. If, if you are... A realtor or whatever it is help people in your church you know put put your cards out there not because you want the business but because you want to bless somebody you know if you know you do nails and stuff maybe offer discounts to church members and then they can come in and they can get their nails done at a discounted price just because y'all share something that way you're blessing and you're giving back and God continues to increase you see how this works you give and you plant seeds of good doing and God will always, always, always bless you in tenfold. So that's all I'm saying, y'all. Um, if you're in church and you feel like you're just sitting in church, because I know for me, I, I know God be talking to me, girl. I be in the pew, but the one that sit on this shoulder versus the one that sit on this shoulder and the Jesus that's in my heart, when Jesus in my heart and this one over here be like, now you know you're supposed to be up there playing the piano. This one over here gets to giving God the excuses. Me, me personally, I just... I keep my mouth closed because I don't play with Jesus like that, okay? And I let Jesus know, Jesus, it ain't me. That's the him. That's this one right here talking. And just don't, Lord, we working on her, right? Because she, she going to eventually be this one's twin. Because right now, they, they fraternal. They is not identical, okay? So, <laughs> so, I'm just saying, if you sit down in church, listening to church, acting, acting like you normal and you know the Holy Spirit talking to you, girl, listen. Please get up and listen. My daddy, before he became a pastor, this is a true story, he said he was all in church. He would go to church. He would do all of that. But he kept feeling like he was being called and led to preach, right? And he was like, he ain't want to be no pastor. He ain't want to do that. He wasn't trying to listen. So he said he was out there changing the brakes on the car. And the car, you know, I, I don't know if that was his, his epiphany moment, but I think I would like to say it was. The car fell on him. It fell off the jack and fell on top of him. And his ass was trapped under there with his arm out. He said when my, uh, my mama, my grandmother came home from church, she saw him. Now, this was always the part where I say women got the strength because I was like, Ma, how did you get the car? She said, girl, I don't know, but I saw him under there. She said the rod had done hit him in the mouth and he was on because she was a nurse. She was like, he was under with his mouth open and the, the thing that he had holding the car up had went, you know, through there like it didn't touch the tongue or nothing. It just went like a clean thing. 
Maybe she said she jacked that car, took that on there, and she was like, my man, my man, my man. No, she didn't say the my man point. That just was good for her. But that was just the adjectives. It just made the, 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 the truth a little bit more colorful. But the point is, she lifted the car. She rescued him and, you know, cleaned it up and fixed it. And he always had that indention, like, till he died. It was like a, a little scar thing there. Oh, that's oh, August and his Elmo. Scar thing there. And so, um... He was like, after that, you know, he was like, uh-uh, you know, so he, he went to theology school. He went, did everything and he became a pastor. He was a very successful pastor. Um, and when I'm saying successful, I'm not talking about money. I'm not talking about things like this. I'm just talking about God really grew his ministry and people really respected him. Um, and so, you know, he used to always tell me like, you know, when God speak, you listen, because if you don't use it, you lose it. Right. He would always tell me that put your soul into it this this like that it's a lot of a lot of things that they invested into me and as much as i miss them both and i get to cry about them being gone i'm not going to do that um i do thank god that i'm able to take the life lessons they gave me and just carry it within myself invested into my children invested into everybody that's like an extension of me and you know i really do i really do try to live the life that's pleasing to God, right? I got my hiccups. I'm just like the next person. I'm probably the most cussingest Christian you gonna know, okay? I'm like Hannah off the haves and have-nots, except I, I don't act like Hannah. I just got that cussing Christian syndrome. But the other parts of Hannah, that's not me, because Hannah was very judgmental. Very, girl, no. Mm -mm. Uh, but, you know, that's what it is. I wish they bring back haves and have nights and green leaf and all that because I did. I loved green. Like when I watch a show, y'all, I'd be invested from day one. Girl, I might as well just make this shit a vlog because I done talked for a long time. If you're still here on the video and you ain't subscribed, bitch, you might as well because you done, you done been tuned in. And if you're still here and you, you're like, damn, she talking today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, poor days. I don't know why. Because I done told y'all several times I was leaving. So, on that note, no matter what I was just saying, I'm gone. Get to running off at the mouth and shit. Damn. Hey, Jim. Thanks for watching my video today. Make sure you check out my previous video. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe. Okay? If you're new to my channel, become fam. Click subscribe and follow me on my social networks. Bye!